Hello everyone! The family and I are out for a bit of a prospecting trip today. We're going to go and check out a couple of hard rock claims. Um, up to the Trout Creek here again. I have the placer and the hard rock claim on this spot. And I'm taking a hard rock sample, sort of the bedrock underneath the placers, to see if I can start tracking down the source of the gold. Uh, we know the gold is coming right from this spot. Uh, lots of assays, lots of work done in the past, and then now I'm just going to try to identify what part of the seam is actually hosting that gold and see if we can get some hard rock gold out of this place. Also going to head down to the Jesse claim and uh, take a few samples uh, just from the mine dump there and take them back to the rock crusher and crush them down and see if we can find any samples of free mill gold from there. I don't know if we will or not, but it'll be fun all the same. Uh, so it's just a little family day out. I'll show you more when we start working at the claims. So we've dug down through all the plaster material here, and we've finally hit bedrock. I'm now taking a good sample of the bedrock right below the plasters, because it is the hanging wall of that hydrothermal vein. Whew, I'm winded here. And I want to see if the altered hanging wall there actually has any gold content in it, because we know this vein is where the host of the gold is. There's lots of plaster here, and I want to see if there's any in that hard rock. First thing I have to do is wash this stuff to make sure I can wash out any plaster material that might be in it. And then I will crush it down and see if there's any gold coming out. It looks like I need another bucket. So I'm going to fill this one up in no time. This is two different claims that you have. Yes, I've got both the placer on the like, placer is everything from bedrock up, and the hard rock, so everything below, below ground. So I do own both claims here. I'm allowed to work both. Here's a shot of the material. There's the plasters on top. Bedrock starts there and is really broken up. And then it gets down into more solid bedrock. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick this up, but you can see real streaks of rust and black. And some of the gold samples I got that still had rock attached, the rock was black. So I'm hoping it's coming from some of these black spots that I'm finding in this hanging wall. I call it a hanging wall just because the clay seam, the hydrothermal seam that's really a clay material, is, oh, just inches below me now. Maybe less than a foot for sure. 
and um, it slants back into the mountain right here. And if I dig down deep enough, which I'm planning to, I'm hoping to break through into that clay again. And then I know I've got that contact between the hydrothermal vein and the host rock. I know over there in that hole, we're down onto that clay. I don't think it'll be far to get down onto it here. Wave. <laughs> well, here we are. We made it back to we made it to the uh, Jesse claim. Finished off at the Choke Creek there, and uh, Dana and Evan are up top collecting from the upper attic. Just the mine dump that's there. I've walked down the treacherous hill. Cave yards right atop that rise. Walk down this treacherous hill here to get to the lower at it. Right there. And now I did that because the good material was supposed to come from the lower at it here. And uh, you can see big rock has crunched. I don't know, you could pro yeah, you can still probably get in maybe. Um, and uh, I don't know, I don't know if I trust that, but I'm just gonna start collecting from the mine dump here. Stuff that they've carried out from the adit and just dumped on the edge. And see if I can load up a bunch of good looking material, take it back and crush it. Looks like the previous claim owners may have done some of the work for me. There's a bucket full of rocks. I should see what's in the, <laughs> see if they're good looking stuff. Not only that, there's an old shovel down here. Bit of everything. Okay, well, I'm going to start collecting. They collect that stuff right there. Look at it. Beautiful. You can even see coppers. Oh, pyrites and coppers and everything in here. Oh, look at that guy. Look at the copper. Copper and rust. These are the things I want to crush. If I'm going to find gold, that's where it's coming from. So this is interesting. Uh, I found a couple rocks that seem to be heavier than they should have been. And a closer look to this one, you can see the quartz on top. And that bottom is solid iron. Iron of some sort. A pyrite, a pyrotite. Could even be a galena, but doesn't really look like it. Um, that looks good. Definitely going to grab some of those heavier rocks. Weighs quite a bit. And throw them in with the with the sample. So I've got two half buckets from the bottom at it. I'm starting to walk up the hill. I came down just straight over the tail slide all the way down. Decided that on the way up I would probably take a longer route so it's not so steep. So I got two buckets in my hand. And so come over this way. I'm gonna go up through the greenery where I have trees and stuff rather than just shale. See if I can go over the top. It's a bit steeper, or a bit more of a climb. Go over the top this way, but it's not as steep. Just longer. And hopefully Dana and Evan are still having fun up the top. We'll see you when it gets up. Oh, I made it up to the upper adit, which is not much of an adit. It's just a bit of a recess there. My workers up here petered out on me a bit. <laughs> Their full bucket is... Uh, it's full. We'll call that full. Okay, that one's full. But up here, the material looks quite a bit different than down below. It's mostly just a rusted quartz, where down below I was actually seeing seams of uh, pyrites and calcopyrite and uh, maybe some galena. We're up here. It's just a bit of rusted quartz. But we're taking some from both spots. I'll crush them separately and see what kind of values I find in them. See if I find any gold at all. Dana's going for a bit of a hike up into the bush. <laughs> Gonna explore the old mine road, see if there's anything else up there. Uh, we accessed this, uh, hey, there's a nice rock. We accessed this uh, on the old KVR, which uh, used to be a railway when this mine was actually more active so they cut a road in from above here to come and work this mine now 
now the railway has gone, we can just drive along the railway much easier. So that's where I was way down there digging. That is treacherous getting down there. Well, I'm gonna finish filling these buckets and then we're gonna camera straight. I'm gonna finish filling these buckets and then uh, head off here. Uh, I was gonna bring the rock crusher out and crush right here on site. I had the rock crusher, the gold cube, everything ready to go. But uh, I had a bit of a fatal flaw with my rock crusher there. Uh, Dana and I tried to lift it into the back of the truck and realized it weighs way too much. We could not get it up into the back of the truck. So changed our plan a bit. And instead of bringing the rock crusher to the mine, we're gonna bring the mine to the rock crusher. And that's why we're filling up buckets and we're gonna take it back and crush it back at the shop. And then run it through the cube or something there. Well, this is the Jesse mine on Trout Creek. Uh, I will do another video when I crush and see what's in it, but for now, that's it. Bye. Well, one little added note to this last video. Uh, a little bit surprised. I uh, took a couple shovelfuls of the dirt from that mine dump. Not the rocks, just the dirt that was there. And uh, drove down to the creek here and panned it out. And in the pan, I found these chunks of heavies, probably a galena or something like that in there. A few chunks of those heavies. And then I know the camera won't get it here. I doubt it'll even, you'll be, even be able to see it. But there's probably about 10 little tiny specks of gold. So there is some free meal gold in that stuff. And let's hope that crushing the rocks will get some more of it out. But I was a little surprised to actually see gold just sitting in the dirt that was there. I know other mines has gold like that. I wasn't really expecting too much of it here. But there it is. Well, a little added bonus to the video. Till the next one.